Hi everyone, good morning, welcome to our musical story time. And this week our theme is about four. But let's start our story time with our good morning song. Good morning, how are you? So nice to have you here with me today. Good morning, how are you? How do you, how do you do? Hello, good day. Zao Shang Hao. How do you say good morning in Chinese? Yeah, 早上好 and uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How do you say I'm fine? Thank you. 我很好,谢谢. And 早安 is also another way to say good morning. And 再见 is it's another way to say bye bye in Chinese. And 早上好, 你好吗? 很高兴今天你们在一起早上好你好吗我很好谢谢你早安再见我很好谢谢你早安再见 Okay, let's get back to this week's theme. It's about four. And I showed you last time about this character. This sounds like chiu. It means four. In Chinese, four, qiu, qiu tian. And this word is composed by two parts. First part is symbolize fire. And, and the left part symbolize fire. Right part symbolize weeds. Because in the four time, in the ancient Asian countries, in the four, in the autumn, they harvest the weeds. And after harvesting, they're going to burn the field. So in this way, in the, in the springtime, when they're trying to plant for another year's crops, they, the field is going to be fertilized. Shua, please don't play with that, please. And, uh, and yeah, this is how these two words composed, fire and the weed. And this word is pronounced as chiu. Chiu and Chiu Tian is autumn in Chinese, and four in Chinese, Chiu Tian. And uh, today we have three books to read to you. First book is called Four with Lily and Milo. Lily and Milo spending time in the four. Lily and Milo in Chiu Tian. I think Lily and Milo, they are a pair of good friends. Oh, I see a little snail. And a red mushroom. Oh, be careful with that red mushroom. Colorful mushrooms are poisonous. Four is here. Lily and Milo are going exploring in the woods. Well, again, it's in the woods. And Lily and Milo are going to explore. What will they take to carry everything they find? Oh, they're going to carry back a lot of things. So they need a carrier. They need something to carry them, carry the things they find. Milo's little card. I think this is Milo's little card. A wicker basket or a suitcase. What does Lily choose? What does Milo choose? What, do you, what will you choose to carry something from the woods that you collect? That's called card, little card. You, you, carry little, you, you would carry a little card too. Yeah, I would take a basket too. Yeah,所以呢,这两个小朋友,Lily oh, look, Lily chooses the wicker basket. I think mean, this is Lily and then she chooses the wicker basket. Lily chooses the basket. And Milo, this is Milo, little, little, little mouse is Milo. Milo takes his car, that's Milo's car. Milo looks through the window outside. It has started to rain. Also in autumn, in the fall time, not only leaves falling from the sky, rain also falling from the sky. A lot of them <coughs> in the fall time. So right now it started to rain. And Milo is looking out the window. 
So if it rains, what should Lily and Milo wear? A raincoat or a bathing suit? Rubber boots or flip flops? What will you choose? You can just say it. You just say it. <clears throat> yeah, coat. Yeah, that's the raincoat. Yeah, and what is this bathing suit? Should we wear a bathing suit outside in the forest? No. And do you should you wear this? Yeah. That's boots, rain boots, or flip flop? <laughs> no. Those going to have some caterpillars in that on that on our toes if we wear if we wear flip flop flip flip flops. Yes. So <clears throat> in 你们会选择什么衣服穿了去出门去寻找秋天的踪迹呢？你们会选择什么衣服呢？是的，雨衣，还有什么雨鞋？雨衣、雨鞋，会选择夏天穿的游泳衣吗 ？No， 不是游泳衣，拖鞋吗 ？No， 没有游泳衣和不穿游泳衣和拖鞋，因为太冷了，秋天已经到了，而且下雨了。Lily and Milo wear their raincoats and boots. Yes, they also made a good choice. That's raincoat and boots. That's good because now it's raining hard. Yeah, look, they stepping in the water with their rain boots and raincoat to keep them dry and warm. And they are taking their cart and basket. They are in the forest already in the woods, playing with the rain and the fallen leaves, falling leaves. Wow, Lily and Milo, they are already outside. They are wearing their raincoats and boots. 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 I think these are apples, apple tree, and this is pear, pear tree with pears on it, and they are all ripe, falling down, and there's a cat, there's a little worm. Earthworm. I don't think that's earthworm. That's fruit worm eating through an apple. It could be a caterpillar too. Is it earthworm? Earthworm. No, uh, I don't think earthworm will eat fruit. Earthworm just stay in the soil, right? So, okay, let's see. Milo wants to pick up some apples. This is a funny apple, says Milo. That's not an apple. So Milo wants to pick up apple. He's like, this is a funny apple. That's not an apple. Lily laughs. That's a pear. Milo picks up a pear. And Lily picks up two apples. Milo, this little boy, took a piece of apple. He said, "Oh, this is a strange apple." But Lily tells him, "That's not an apple. That's a pear. That's not an apple. Lily took a piece of apple. Apple and apple and apple. Apple and apple. What is crawling between the apples and pears? A little hedgehog. He lives in a pile of leaves, and then the earthworm lives under the ground. 怎么样？在树、苹果树和梨子树之间有什么东西 ？Hedgehog, 刺猬。这个是什么 ？A hedgehog, 刺猬。还有一个，还有一个 earthworm， 还有一个。蚯蚓，刺猬和蚯蚓 ，Yeah. And there's a bird there too. And then where is the spider now? Uh, uh oh, uh, spider is on Milo's ear. Lily finds a snail. Look, he has eyes on little dogs. It says Lily. Ooh. Do you think snails have eyes? Snails has eyes. Have eyes. Yeah, they have eyes on their little stalks, says Lily. And do you know where the snails live? Where where the snail lives? Almost anywhere. Yeah. Why? Because he lives in his little bag, little house in his bag. The snail. 
Oh, now they already collected some pears and some apples in their little cart. And they keep going. Look, Milo, acorns and pine, pine cones, Lily cheers. She puts some in her basket. Milo finds a long stick. He looks for acorns and pink pine cones too. Will you help him? Where are the acorns and pine I cones? Take a spider web. Oh, the spider is making a spider web. And what? The earthworm is now on Milo's another ear. Oh. And then they are looking for acorns and pine cones. Can you find acorns and pine cones for them? Acorns. Yeah, I think that's acorn. And this is these are acorns. Acorns and pine cones. So many corns, acorns and pine cones in the forest in the fall time. The squirrels are also collecting them for the winter to come. Yeah, 小老鼠和小兔子他们现在在寻找什么呀？在寻找这个榛果，还有松果来过冬了。哇，我来回回家来吃了，因为秋天的时候，榛果和松果有好多掉落在地上，因为它们成熟了。小松鼠也在寻找，小刺猬跟着他们一起坐在他们的小车里面。Lily sees red mushrooms with white spot. Oh, I think that's dangerous. Exactly like the raincoat, they are red. Red means scary. Red means danger. Red means stop. Red means stop. Yeah. They are so pretty. Look, Milo, Milo, Lily, Lily asks Milo to look at the mushrooms because she thinks they are very pretty. But there are more mushrooms in the woods. We can't pick mushrooms, says Lily. They have to stay in the woods, so Lily knows. Lily says we cannot pick mushrooms from the woods. That's just a rule, like no talking to the strangers. You cannot pick up mushrooms from the woods too, especially the colorful ones because they are poisonous. It's very dangerous. So now, little pigs and little mice, they are now looking at what? Red mushrooms. This red is very beautiful, and the red is the same as the red of the little pigs. Red mushrooms. What does it mean? It means that red is very dangerous. It is warning the little pigs that I have red mushrooms. Don't touch me. 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 Stop. stop! Red means stop. Like red light means stop. 我说你不可以踩在上面。不要不要，不是踩，是踩在，把它踩起来，摘起来，不要摘我，不要碰我，碰都不要碰哦，因为很危险哦。然后小老鼠说：“哦，这个吗？这些蘑菇好漂亮。”小兔子说：“是，它们是很漂亮，但是千万不要去采蘑菇，树里面的蘑菇都不能采哦。”哇，这个时候他们已经装了好多松果和榛果。Yeah, in the forest is different. In our home, we have grey mushroom. It's looking different, and then we test it so we can eat. But then in the forest, if you see any mushroom, don't touch them, especially the colorful ones. Don't touch them. Lily and Milo can bring some leaves home. Lily chooses three beautiful leaves. Milo can choose all the four leaves. Are beautiful. Yeah, I also think oh, they're so beautiful. I see different colors: yellow, orange, light green, and gray and brown. Wow, so beautiful. They are fall on the floor. All kinds of shapes. Yeah, which leaves would you choose? Which leaves would you choose? Mama spider. All of them, right? Yeah, the spider now is on the stick of Milo. 好多好多漂亮的叶子哦。那那 Lily 说 ，Lily 说 ，Lily 想要把叶子带回家。Milo 不知道要选哪一些叶子，因为所有的叶子都太漂亮，他喜欢所有的颜色，红色、橙色、黄色、绿色、褐色的所有的叶子他都喜欢。Back home, Lily puts the nuts, leaves, and pine cones in a dish. Nuts, leaves, and pine cones in a dish. He puts a fruit in a bowl. Wow, 还有苹果和梨子 in a bowl. Pear and apple in a bowl. Milo, would you put your things on the table too? Asks Lily. Milo, hey, where's Milo? Hey, where's Milo? What is Milo doing? Milo is just playing leaves outside. He can't get enough of the beautiful leaves that fall from the trees. Yeah, Milo, come back in. 
You can bring all the leaves. Oh, look, he's actually bringing all the leaves. 小兔子，他已经把这些坚果。尾巴。啊哈。Oh, the spiders in in the tail. 它蜘蛛在尾巴上面了。小兔子已经把坚果呢，还有果仁呢，还有水果的都已经装好了。但是小小老鼠还是在外面玩叶子，好多叶子，它很尽兴，它很非常喜欢各种颜色的叶子。Oh, there you are, says Lily. I brought all the leaves. Milo calls cheerfully. Oh, he is very happy. He brought all the leaves. Look at them. Oh, all the sticks too, and squirrels and owls and birds too. And my new friend, the spider, is very happy. He brought all the leaves. Look at them. Oh, all the sticks too, and squirrels and owls and birds too. And my new friend from the forest. Now it feels a little like. Four inside too. Yeah, he brought his friends. Oh, I see more. I see po po a porcupine, no hedgehogs and、uh, earthworms and snail, birds and squirrel and owls. He brought all the leaves and all his friends inside the house and a spider too. Yeah, so the little mouse, he brought all the leaves and all his friends. 因为他不能选出他最喜欢的叶子，他把所有叶子都搬回来，而且还有他新认识的树林的朋友，有小松鼠啊、小鸟啊、老鹰啊、蚯蚓啊，还有刺猬，还有蜗牛，全部都被他带进房间里。这样房间里也感觉像秋天一样啦。The end. This is book about Milo and Lily. Okay, that's going to our second book. It's called Little Frog and the Scary Autumn Thing. What is scary in the autumn? Wow, this is a story about a little frog and something that she is scared about. She's scared of. Let's see what happens to her. This this little frog. Look, she's trying to eat some fly,、uh, dragonflies. Frogs love green, green water, green lily pads, green leaves, green. 青蛙最喜欢的是绿色的，绿色的水，绿色的什么呀？叶子、荷叶，对呀、啊，全世界都是绿色，是这是它最喜欢的颜色。But autumn had come to the pond, turning everything red and gold. Two little frogs, red and gold, were scary. They were the colors of hot sun and cold blood. She sat on the green lily pad and contemplated the trees. Half of them were now yellow. Two of them were orange. One was a bright red. All the rest were still green, sort of. So this little frog, he looked at these trees. Half of the trees had become yellow. Half of them were now yellow. Half of them had become yellow. Two of them were orange. Two of them had become orange. And one. Was a bright red. 有一颗变成了红颜色，很亮的红色。All the rest were still green. 其他的还是绿色的。Little frog doesn't like yellow, orange, or red because they, the yellow, orange, or red is like the hot sun or a cold blood. So she doesn't like it. She likes green, and she had never seen such a thing before. Well, she was only a little frog, and it was her first fall. Little frog shuddered. So, so this frog is a little frog. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or red before. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or red before. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or red before. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or red before. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or red before. This is her first fall. She has never seen green or Little frog usually loves such swaying, but she was still shuddering. So the lily pad shuddered too. 她的妈妈跳到她的荷叶上面了，让这个叶子晃动。本来这个小青蛙从来都是很喜欢这种晃动，但是她今天还是有点害怕，害怕这个世界变了颜色，所以她现在还是跟着这个荷叶一起在害怕，在颤抖。Be brave, little frog," said Mama Frog. Most things that are scary are only just new. You need to see what they are all about. Listen to their voices. Once you know them, they aren't scary anymore. What is Mama saying? Mama saying most things that scares you is because they are new. It's just because you've never seen before. And you need to see what they are all about. You need to discover them. You need to know them. Get to know them and listen to their voices. Okay, once you know them, you they aren't scary anymore. 
妈妈告诉他呢，不用害怕。你为什么害怕呢？是因为什么呀？因为他们是新的，你从来没有见过，所以会害怕。但是你如果呢，仔细的去学，去了解他们，去听他们的声音，你一旦知道他们之后呢，你们你们就再也不会害怕他们了。That was certainly puzzling. Little Frog herself was pretty new, and she wasn't scary, but she always listened to Mama Frog. 这是有点奇怪，因为他觉得他自己也是很新的青蛙，他他并不可怕呀，对不对？他并不可怕，为什么新的东西新的东西会让人觉得可怕呢？但是他还是非常听妈妈的话，他非常信任他妈妈。She so that day in early October, little frog decided to try to be brave and see what red and gold were all about. An orange. She hopped back into the water, the dark green water, and began to swim. So his mother told him not to be afraid. He didn't be afraid. He jumped into the water. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. He was ready to see what the orange and green were all about. Her heart was going bumpity bump as she did. She did the back stroke and the side stroke, and some frog paddling too. But she made it to the shore, brave little frog. 但她的心还是跳得很厉害 ，boom boom 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 bumpity bump, boom 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 boom. 但她游游泳的时候，在游的时候，她心脏还是跳得非常厉害。但是她还是来到了岸边。她是一只勇敢的小青蛙。She's Stuck one toe onto the brown dirt. 他拿了一只一个脚趾头碰了一下橙色的土地。After green, little frog loved brown the best. Brown is soft and comfortable and familiar. She took one step and another and another. Though now her heart was going bumpy bump, bumpy bump, and and thumpy thump. Brave, brave little frog. 他把一只脚趾头伸出来碰了一下褐色的土地。在绿色之后，它更最喜欢的颜色呢，就是褐色，因为褐色也是一种熟悉的颜色，也是让人感到舒适和温暖的，呃，柔软的颜色，因为是土地的颜色。于是他走了一步到土地上面，到岸上来，接着另外一步，另另外一步，再一步一步的往前走。他是一只非常勇敢的小青蛙，虽然他的心脏跳动的 ，bumpy bump, bumpy bump， 一直在跳动。Wow! Then little frog hopped a bit down the twisty path, going toward the wood, the wood that was so full of red and gold and orange. She wasn't sure about orange. Brave, brave little frog. 他走了好多步之后呢，一直在往前走。这时候就来到哪里呀？来到树林面前，他看到各种各样的颜色。Yeah, he sees. She sees. Red and gold and orange, red and gold and orange. She's still not sure about orange. 她她已经有一些熟悉红色，还有什么呀？还有黄色，但是她还有一些不熟悉橙色的，对不对 ？Suddenly, a wind whooshed through the trees. Leaves begin to rain down. Wow, leaves are like rains are falling down. Wow, red leaves, yellow leaves. What do you see? I see red, yellow, red leaves, yellow leaves, orange leaves, scary leaves in scary colors, making a scratchy, scratchy noise. Little frog hopped this way, ran that way, spun about, fell down, ran again. She wasn't being very brave now. Wow, 天上 you have a question? Yeah, what's your question? Why isn't him going with his mom? Oh, that's a good question. I think why this little frog, this little this little girl frog, went all by herself because sometimes you have to do things by yourself. Even scary things that you feel really scared about, you have to discover things yourself. That's just life about, right? Your mom and dad is not going to be there forever. They are always times that you find yourself alone, so you have to get over this fear by yourself. So now, 
，天上下了好多好多的叶子，有红色、橙色、褐色、绿色，各种各样的叶子。小青蛙这时候有一点点不勇敢，它开始又跑又跳又躲，对不对？然后哇，又开始跑起来，这边它已经开始有一点害怕了。天上下了好多好多颜色的各种各样的叶子下来，对不对？它有点开始害怕了。By the time she stopped hopping, running, spinning, and falling down. Little frog was lost, horribly, miserably, totally lost. Uh oh! 当他停下来跑的时候，他发现他自己迷路了。他找不到他自己在哪里，他不知道自己在哪里了。Besides her right leg hurt, there was a little scrape on her knee and a spot of red blood. She shuddered again. Suddenly, she wasn't so sure about red. 而且他发现他腿上怎么样，破掉了，血都流出来了。那红色的颜色特别吓人，对不对？像红色的血的颜色特别吓人，对不对？因为他摔倒，因为他一直在跑、跳，对不对？然后绕来绕去<咳>撞他，因为他在躲这些叶子，所以他就摔倒了，然后流了血。然后他这时候就，而且他你走走丢掉了，所以他这时候就更害怕了，对不对 ？It was dark in the woods, except. For those patches of red and gold and orange and purple as well, she was absolutely not sure about purple. Strange sounds came from everywhere. Scary sounds. Whoosh! 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 橙色的、金色的叶子，还有什么紫色的也跑出来了。他最害怕现在最害怕的是紫色，因为紫色是更新的一个颜色。他之前还没有看过紫色，这次居然出了一个新的紫色。紫色在哪里 ？Purple， 紫色的。哦哦，他这时候就更害怕。他最害怕的就是紫色，他最害怕新的东西。And 还有各种各样的声音传过来。嘘，嘘，嘘。Little frog didn't feel very brave anymore. All she felt was scared. Vroom! What's vroom? Let's see. 看一下他的爸爸。看一下啊。But then little frog listened more closely, just as Mama Frog had told her to. That was the voice of the wind through leaves. 这是 the voice of a squirrel up a tree. Boom! That was the voice Papa Frog used in the spring. All friendly sounds she knew. Oh, 这时候小青蛙她记住她妈妈告诉她什么？她妈妈告诉她，这时候呢，不要害怕，仔细的来听各种各样的声音，对不对？仔细的听。风吹过的声音，松鼠爬树的声音，这是爸爸在春天发出的声音。哦，这都是闭起眼睛来听。Close your eyes and listen. Those are all familiar sounds and friendly sounds that she knew and she liked. But everything was strange indeed because it wasn't spring. It was autumn, and autumn was scary. It's supposed to be scary, but everything sounds familiar. Oh, 这时候他感觉到，哦，为什么声音这么熟悉呢？应该要很吓人才对啊，对不对？为什么声音这么熟悉，让我不觉得很吓人呢？这时候应该很吓人，因为这时候是秋天，不是春天呐、啊。Boom! Frightened all over again, little frog looked for the sun, and there, still sitting on top of a huge pile of red and gold and orange and yes, even purple leaves, was Papa Frog himself singing his spring song, even though it was a scary autumn day. 他寻找那个 Vroom 爸爸的声音，原来爸爸坐在一堆叶子上面，有红色、橙色、黄色、金色，还有紫色的叶子，对不对？爸爸在唱着他的春天的歌。Come up, come up, said Papa Frog. Think of the leaves as a lily pad. Well, they didn't look like a lily pad. They weren't the color of a lily pad. But little frog, oh wait, that's not what I was saying. Okay, that's okay. Papa was just saying, think of the leaves as a lily pad. Well, they didn't look like a lily pad. 
They win the color of a lily pad, but little frog tried to imagine them that way. 爸爸就说：“爬上来吧，想象一下这些叶子就像一个绿色的荷叶一样，不要害怕哦。”那虽然他们他们看着不像是绿色荷叶，但是小青蛙呢，假想他们想象他们是就是绿色的荷叶，所以他就不害怕了，对不对？ She climbed up the pile, thinking green, 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 all the way to the top. 下绿色绿色绿色荷叶荷叶荷叶，他就往上爬。Wow! Even though the red and gold and orange and purple leaves were scratchy and scratchy, and the food just kick 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 because those are fallen leaves, so they are hard and dry. So when you climb on them, it's like. Then she sat down by Papa Frog right on top of the leaves, as if that pile was really a lily pad. 她从这一堆树叶上面爬上去，爬上去，红色的、黄色的、橙色的，甚至紫色的，爬到顶上，然后坐下来。Yeah, you have a question. Why is it so big? Who is? Who is so big? Like a stack. Oh, because there's a lot of leaves. Because there's so many trees around. Yeah, no, I think two million leaves. Because they're all fallen, so the pile is big. Yeah, there boomed Papa Frog. That wasn't so bad, now was it? 小青蛙终于爬上来，它一点都不害怕，因为它想象整个堆叶子堆呢，就是一个大大的荷叶，绿色的荷叶。然后他爸爸说：“看看你，你爬上来一点都不害怕，对不对？” For a while, little frog thought about how bad it was. Then she thought how she lives. I don't know how the leaves were actually crispy. Yeah, it's crispy, right? It's so much fun. Now, for, 他小青蛙一一开始觉得很害怕，他想了好久，哦，好可怕，好可怕。但是突然间他想到，哦 ，Look, all the leaves, 这些叶子全部都是脆脆的，对不对？很好爬的感觉，爬的很，爬的很舒服，对不对？脆脆，而且有声音哦，像音乐一样哦。How they would go like the rising sun. Orange like the sky at dawn, and red like the sky at sunset. She still wasn't sure about purple. 所以她想到，哦，其实他们还是 crispy， 他们还是有一点脆脆的哦。而且什么呀，像太阳一样的金色，像升起的太阳，日出一样的金色，对不对？像天空在傍晚的天空一样的橙色。还有什么呀？还有什么呀？还有。Red like the sky at sunset. 还有傍晚的时候，太阳落下落山之后的红色的天空，这些绿绿子颜色是非常漂亮，对不对？但他还是不确定紫色这个颜色，因为他从来没有见过紫色。She thought about how autumn leaves made a tricky sound in the wind. They weren't scary at all. Only knew Papa Frog was right. Mama Frog was right. Not so bad, she said to Papa Frog. Not the red and orange and gold, he said. She noticed he didn't mention purple. 对不对？他告诉他爸爸，哦，他爸告诉他爸爸，确实是不吓人，对不对？确实不吓人。然后爸爸说，但是，但是我知道，对，确实不吓人。红色和橙色和黄色确实是不吓人。但爸爸也没有，没有，没有告诉，没有告诉他那个紫色。啊，你说 please。Then little frog and Papa Frog sit slide down, slide down the pile together with red and gold and orange and even purple leaves sliding down all about all around them. It was so much fun. Little frog climb up and slide down again and again. Red and gold and orange are not scary at all," said little frog. "Not when you really get to know them." Papa Frog looked at the pile again, and purple is not scary either. He said, "Only new." Yeah, now they are sliding down the pile. They are now sliding down the pile. They are sliding down the pile, and then they realize purple is not scary too. At last, arm in arm, little frog and Papa Frog happily hopped and danced all the way home to the pond, where Mama Frog had made a fresh. Shoe fly pie. What is shoe fly pie for dinner? Oh, fly pie. Oh, wow. Something all three of them knew well. It was still hot, just the way they liked it best, and even better inside. It was all green. 妈妈做了一个派，回家等他们来吃。他们觉得非常非常开心。The end. Okay, that's going to our third book. It's called my leaf book.
Wow, this book we can just go through very quickly because we already like spend a lot of time reading the other books and let's just take a look of this leaf book. Let's just scan through all the beautiful pictures. I think this, this, this little girl, she's going to collect a lot of books from the forest, a lot of leaves from the forest to make her leaf book. Wow, look at this shape. Is this kind of triangle? Yeah, is this kind of triangle shape? Yeah, tree guy. Oh, that's my leaf book. That's the girl's leaf book. She's going to stick a lot of leaves in the book. And this book, this leaf is called ginkgo leaf. Ginkgo, from ginkgo tree. Ginkgo leaf, they are green and yellow and red too. Wow, ginkgo leaf. And this leaf, wow, can you recognize? I see star shape. Wow, I see star shape. Wow, she's picking up from the ground. Wow, look at this. This is honey locust. This is honey locust. And that's sweet gum. This star shaped leaves is coming from sweet gum tree. Honey loc and this coming from honey locust. So pretty. And she is drawing them on the leaf book. And sometimes it should stick them. Oh wow, look at these trees. Oh, that's a honey locust and that's a, that's the first one. Okay, what's the first one? Okay, that's the, that's the, wait, that's the, that's a gynco. That's a gynco, yeah. Gynco, honey locust, and uh, gynco, yeah. Yeah, so many kinds of trees and sweet gum. Okay, what is this? Do you, do you know what's this tree? Let's take a look. That's the oak tree. That's the oak leaves from the oak tree. So pretty. She collects so many oak leaves and she used them to make print, oak leaf prints. So basically what she did is she painted all the leaves and, and put the paint and pressed the leaves with the paint on a piece of white paper. When she take away the leaf, the, the paint of the leaf stays in the on the white paper. So pretty, right? It's like how you do the hand print. You basically use the leaves like a hand, paint it and put it down. And that is how you come up with all these beautiful painted leaves, oak leaves. Wow, it's beautiful oak leaves. And what is this tree? This oh, this is long, like skinny leaves. Also, let's take a look at what are these. Oh wow, so many trees. Wow, so many colors. Wait, this is this here? Oh. Okay, not here. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, it's coming. Oh, these are willows, the long ones are willow tree leaves. And these are birch tree leaves, birch leaves. Wow, so pretty, all kinds of colors. And this is cherry leaves that we're familiar. This is a cherry cheese with cherry, cherry leaves. She collect all of them. They are so pretty. She will stick them to the books, paint them, and dry them. Oh, what is this heart shape? And what is this bird crawl shape? What is this type of leaf? Let's take a look. Oh, that's a linden tree, linden leaves. And what is this? This is called sassafras, sassafras tree. Yeah, sassafras is like a, the shape of the leaves is like a bird's craw, right? So beautiful leaves. Oh, wow. Are you familiar with this? I think I know what's this. I think this is the maple tree with maple leaves. So beautiful. They're all very red and very maple. orange. Yeah, maple trees. Yeah, we see them everywhere. Maple trees. Yeah, that's the maple tree. She's making maple, maple tree paint, maple leaf paint. Wow, in her, in her beautiful, oh, I think that's the front page. My, my leaf book, that's a maple tree, maple leaf. Wow, so beautiful, maple leaf, wow. Which one are your best? I mean, she's asking herself, which, what is my favorite? I love all of them. Which one is your favorite leaf? Uh. You love all of them too? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love all of them. They're all so pretty. Cherry, maple, sassafras, birch, willow. All of them so pretty. Wow. 
Okay, the end of today's story time. I hope you enjoyed this week's theme about autumn. I'll see you next time. Bye.